Well, it's 9.30 on a Sunday morning. I've just had a slice of chocolate cake for breakfast and a can of Coke. Healthy start of the day, and let's start Ibsen's Castle. Now, if you've been using Amaranth quite a lot, this bit may be annoying for you. Now, it is a very weird place, as they say. You haven't worked alone since this too, mate. Dead weight? I guarantee you, Amarin, Kaylee could kick your ass. Well said, Rusty. Let him go. He had his time, did Amaran. He did his time when he was helping against, like, Ark. He was kicking that thing's bum, but that's the only time I've really used him. I am indeed. I'll take this exact same team, and in we go to Ibsen's Castle. Now the first thing to remember for this area is it's backwards and upside down, meaning that weapons have a reverse effect. For example, the more powerful weapons are your lower level ones. So for example, if you've got a dagger, you do like triple the damage if you're using an ultimate weapon. I don't really understand the ins and outs of it. Anyway, that was one of the Aquarius coins that we needed. Dagger, yep. See, it gives you the help there that if you're really struggling, at least it gives you it. Hey up, Mr. Moogle. Oh, a mug shop. What you got? Ah, uh, yeah, still in old stuff if you need it. We don't need any of that. Oh, demon's mail. Would it be handy to have? No. So, yes, folks, we are... We've got quite a bit to explore in this place, and I can't get that for some reason. Cat's claws. So basically it's all the old weapons. I mean, it didn't really affect us anyway, because all... Ah, now we've got a card of one of those. That's a veteran. Up. Boom! You see what I mean, folks? With Thievery and Dragon's Crest at that level, we're not going to come across many problems. Oh, just thought as well, I should really be having Aiko uh, at Rose, even, learning her other summons. I shan't learn any apart from Phoenix and Madine, but Madine is a pretty damn cool one. Let's go up, methinks. Never mind. You can't get any higher than that. Ok, 
That's the wrong way. Um, wrong way again. Do 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 do. Ah, now the gargoyle enemies. What if they get chance? That guards thing will wake up the gargoyle. But it didn't matter anyway. So the gargoyle is basically stone until the Argars wakes it up. But if you kill him first, then you're alright. Yeah, there's no point having Vivi with that auto float, you know. I might as well put it into something else, but what? Just in case. You'll have clear headed. Oh, I see where we go. I was getting lost there. You go along there and up. Do 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 do. Back attack, not that scary though, because we're still going to want hit it. Blow it away, Zid. And it's down. first, I imagine. That looks like a wrong way. Yeah, you can't go down that way, fair enough. Ah, can I jump off? Ah, yes, okay, so we can get off there. Let's see what's in this one. You see, it's just giving you all the old weapons, folks, which you don't particularly need. Very strange design of a castle, though, I'll give it that. Okay, so that takes us up. I don't think that's the right way, though, for some reason. Oh, it is. Never mind. You never really needed to anyway, Amarin. You did it out of choice. He thinks he's a badass, but he really isn't. Okay, so we've actually made it up to the top room here. Wind mirror. The water mirror, I believe, yep. Fire mirror. Y 
Yoink! Storyline items accounted for. Ah, but wait, folks. Weird looking thing. You know the deal. Let's kill it. I don't want to give you your mirrors back. They're mine now. Now, Tahaka is annoying in that he has quite a good item you want to be stealing from him. He's a really, really weak boss, though. I think with our current party, we can kill him with three hits. One from Zid, one from Kaylee, and one from either I, uh, from Rose or Vivi should kill him. But he has got a very good item that I... Ah, I got it straight away. Fair enough. I was going to try and steal the Orakella. I mean, these bosses from now on, they won't be able to touch us. They won't have a chance with Auto Region and Auto Haste. Now, interestingly enough, I don't think I actually, on my last playthrough, I don't think I actually got Dragon's Crest until Disc 4. And that was because I failed to steal the Holy Lance from Ark. This time, no such unluckiness. Yeah, he's going to be dead in. Next hit will kill him from wherever it is. Let's detect to see what else he's carrying. I don't know if you can detect on bosses, though. Carries Mithril Claws. Don't want it. Let's kill it. Wow, 153 damage. I'm scared. Finish him off, Kaylee. Look at that. Pitiful. Pitiful. We bloody will. I don't know what seal he's talking about, but we'll break it. Now, if you look at what I just stole, the Arakalon, it's actually quite a good, the most powerful thief dagger. Pretty good for Zid. Um, it's the most powerful weapon you can get prior to Disc 4, so it's very useful if you can get it at this point. If you still haven't done all the side quests, then it really makes a lot of sense to steal it. You can open this door, folks. Can't remember how long it takes. Pound it again, that's what she said. Now, I know there's certain options here that if you choose, you can eventually open it. But I can't remember what options you have to choose. 